Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I hope you are having a fantastic Thursday afternoon. Boy, it is gorgeous out. Well, it's partly cloudy, but we're still going to say it's gorgeous out because you can't complain with this weather and uh, it's only going to be better tomorrow before we start getting some rain here in Northern California, uh, predicted rain in, in the early weeks of April. So how are you today? Even if you're watching the replay and it's like 1 a.m., I don't care on a Saturday because you were out partying and you're like, I just got to catch up on my Ed Talk TV. It's all good. Just let me know how's your day going. Um, today, we're going to talk about uh, something a little more personal uh, because it matters. And, and not just because it's me, but because it matters for you and what you're doing with your business. Look at we got Paula, we got Vicky. Love it. I'm so glad to see you, Vicky. Um, so, and oh, I see Erica's here too. Nice, nice. Uh, and so real quick, while you guys are popping in, you're sharing, you're, you're uh, telling us how your day is going, let me do some quick housekeeping uh, items. Uh, real quick, if you guys are new or just curious because you forgot, um, there's two things that I'm going to mention, two big things that I'm going to mention. So let me pop them in the comments for you. Hey, Erica. Um, and remind me, Erica, I have a quick thing about reframe it that I want to say while we're here. Um, but first, I just popped in the comments, two two, two, um, promo things basically real quick for all those who, who need to know this. Um, first one is Hey Ed monthly membership. Boom. Just redid the sales page for you guys. Let me know your feedback. Even if you decide you're not wanting the membership, it's totally cool. I'm putting it there because we are having so much fun with that. Oh my gosh. I say we, because there's some of you that are in there and, and, um, it's just so much fun. That's like, it's, it's the space I needed to be able to just really deliver. And I'm so excited that we have that now and that you guys are enjoying it. And and thank you. I, I'm just, I'm so happy that you guys are there. So anyway, there's that first one. The second one is how to start a magazine. That's a paid live training that I'm going to do next Wednesday, not on Facebook, not on this show. Um, if you want, that link will give you info about it. Uh, even if you're maybe not con Considering a magazine, I'm still going to talk about um, marketing and advertising and how I got uh, places for free when I had my magazine, which if you were here yesterday, boom, we talked about it. It was so good. Um, so there's that. By the way, if you are a Hey Ed member, you actually do get discounts on that. So you're welcome. There you go. So don't forget. Uh, and you'll find that info in the, uh, in the uh, membership group over there. Sorry, it's been a long day. So there you go. Um, so you can tell your friends too, uh, if, if you know somebody, that training's good uh, and we will do that next Wednesday. So even if you can't make the live, if you buy a ticket for that, you still get access to the replay. So there you go. Um, welcome, Mickey. Woo -woo. Uh, great day today. But your beta cycle students graduated the course today. Oh, Mickey, what course? Remind me what course and tell everyone else too. Um, I love that you guys are all popping in here. Awesome. So today we're going to first, first I have to show you in a second, this website of what not to do. Now I, I don't even know like the actual web person or whoever has the site, but I wanted to show you this example of what not to do for your website, because I know, especially starting out, you're going to be like, I need to make some money off my website. I'm going to go get ads. Let's just get a bunch of ads. We'll pop it on there. We'll be okay. No, 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 no. I'm going to show you this example um, because this is what it's not to do. So I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, the other thing I was going to tell you, oh, and then we're going to talk about today's content, which is um, basically why we all at some point will need to invest in an expert. Now that's kind of loaded question uh, or statement. And that's why I want you to invite your friends, tag them, whatever, even if you're watching the replay, because it's not just about business. What I'm going to tell you relates to business and you can certainly apply it to business, but it's not actually directly business only. So keep that in mind. Okay. So now let's take a look at this website. Now, again, websites, as you guys saw yesterday with my first business, the magazine went back in the day. I mean, that I will say it, that website was hideous. Um, there are still some websites like that and that's okay. It, you got to start somewhere. Uh, I think Tammy said that yesterday, you know, you got to start somewhere and, and you just, you got to have something. And then you build with it. You you tweak it along the way and, and make it 
work for whatever. So if you're like, oh, I need to get a website, but I can't afford to have a designer. Okay, cool. Well, what are you going to do next? You're either going to study it and do it yourself, or you're going to find a course, or you're going to reach out to an expert, even though that, that can be still paying a designer, right? Like all that stuff is available. In fact, I have all three of those options if you need it on my website, but that's not a promo for me. That's just saying like you, you have to figure out what options you have. You know you need a website? Cool. How are you going to get there? there? There's different routes, right? Different um, ways. Like when you type in a GPS on your phone, usually it will show you at least two or three routes that you can go and then it decides what's quicker. You know, this one's one minute quicker. This one's 10 minutes quicker. Well, is that the best route for you? How much is that going to cost you? Is it worth it? Or can you spend some more time of your own doing it yourself? So keep that in mind. That, that's what you really need to pay attention to. Hey, respectful connections. Um, by the way, lots of water today. And we're going to talk about that. Because it's getting hotter. But I need to keep up with the hydration. So do you. So let me switch over to this uh, screen. And we're going to talk about this before we jump into today's content. Look at this website. You guys, tell me what is wrong with this website. Please, even if you're watching the replay. This is where opportunity comes in. Now, this website, how did I get here? Let me back up while you guys are thinking of, you know, what's going on with this website. Let me back up and tell you why I came to this website. I did a simple Google search about PayPal automatic transfer to your checking account because I, you know, I really want to know like what's a simple, clean way to have your, um, your PayPal account where money goes in to directly go into your checking account for balancing your books better, right? Like for me, at least with PayPal, it sits there and then it waits till I transfer it. And then it's one lump sum which is great, but when I go to balance my books, I have to try to figure out, okay, well, that price was for this product, and then that was for this service, and this and that, like, that's a lot of work, and I don't want to deal with that. So I don't want to, I don't want to. So if you have uh, suggestions, please let me know, but that is exactly what I'm looking at, and that's how I got here. Like Erica says right here, I'm putting it on the screen, ads all over. Exactly, Erica. You guys, this is the website I went to. Look, ad. Okay, fine, but it's kind of weird because when you look at this, here's the main menu. This should be up here, not this. Um, so add, okay, fine. Then here's the article, but there's this big old ad, which I have since closed at least once with autoplay videos. Here's an ad. Here's related articles. So in this case, I'm still going to consider this ad because I, I came for this and this side is ads and I don't need this side to be ads too. Tony Robbins, love him, but ad. Then look at this, you guys. Look it. I was reading the article. Here's an ad. Boom. I was reading the article. Here's step one, two. And then I ended up missing these and going all the way down to the bottom because why? There's a big stinking ad for Squarespace right here in the middle breaking up my flow here. So now I'm going here, then I got to go over here, and then I got to keep coming down. And oh, look, there's another, there's another ad. Thanks. Great. Oh, look, related articles. Again, they're not technically ads, but because there's so many ads on this page, this is more of a distraction. Oh, look, more distraction. So where do I go? Where, where am I supposed to stay focused? I would leave this site in two seconds because it is a mess. Now, again, if this is your website, you're thinking, oh, geez, Ed, it, you know, you're, you're looking at me and the computer screen and you're like, Ed, please, please don't be looking at my website because my website looks like that. It's okay. It's not going to look like that after this episode because you're going to make improvements. That's why I'm showing you this example because I want you to see somebody else's website and see the example while you have somebody who's an expert in that telling you, right? And I, I it's so weird because 
How many of you guys can relate? It's weird to say you're an expert. Like that rolled off the tongue pretty, pretty easily right now because I've gotten more comfortable with that. Uh, because what happens is we all think of that word expert and we feel like it's like top notch, knows every single in and out, done deal for everything. So we're afraid to say expert because then we also think, well, if we say we're an expert and we don't know it, then we failed them. Or if we say we're an expert, we're, we're really like, we're being kind of like cocky. We're, we're just like, you know, don't bother me. I'm an expert. Like, no, if you know your stuff, call yourself an expert. That's fine. You don't need to know everything in the world. You just need to know your stuff. And that's what I'm telling you here with this design, that if this was your website right now, you can then now see that it's too much, not just by me, but look at everyone in the comments, right? The ads are thrown throughout the content. Exactly. Like, I know you got to make money. I get that. But you also have to realize, and this goes in for a lot for your website, but I want you to think about this for your um, anybody who has a retail location as well. When you are trying to make that money, because you, bills got to get paid. Let, I mean, we'll all be honest. We all know that. Bills have to get paid. But... You have to understand there is a balance and you may not get that balance right out, out the gate. You know, your website might look like this and that's okay until you realize that it's too much and then you have to start taking things away. So for instance, on this website, let's say the Tony Robbins thing. Okay. Those are two big ones. Let's say those pay the most. Cool. Get rid of everything else. Get rid of them. I don't want to see them. Just leave those things on there. And then that would work, right? Um, respectful connections. I would have affiliate links, but it would have to be something I love and related to my business. Perfect. When you guys are advertising businesses and you're getting your affiliate links because you need to make money, I get it. That's fine. Make sure that you actually like the company, that you actually like the product, that you've actually used it. Don't just sign up for all these things because they sound great and they have it, you know. When you guys go to, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull it up here because it's important. Um, because here's the thing, you can put them in blog posts, just like we'll say that that was a blog post. You can put your ads in blog posts, but be mindful of the user experience, right? Uh, like I was saying, you have to find a balance and you may go heavy on the ads at first because you just don't know. And that's okay because we don't know what we don't know. But then you realize that there's too many ads because you're putting yourself in your customer's shoes. You're having feedback. You're asking for feedback. You're listening to it. And you realize customers don't like all of that. Hey, Mindy, they don't like all of those ads. And so then you're like, oh, okay, well, I need to make money. There's too many ads. Customers don't like ads, meaning customers won't buy anything because they're not going to stay long enough. So how do I make this work? Well, you look at the ads you figure out which one pays the most, which one that you like the most and that you can confidently suggest to others, recommend to others. And then from there, you start figuring out how can you place it without being too intrusive? Because you have to remember, where are we all going first for the most part? Where are we going first when we look at people's websites? What device are we using? Boom. We're using that. Somebody texted me. Um, that's what we're using. So what you see on your desktop computer, your your 27 inch, your uh, 21 and a half inch, your 40 inch TV, whatever, what you see there is not going to look the same here. And you have to remember that. And that's why you have to try testing everything out. Um, so let me switch my screen so you guys can see this. Um, so I still have to clean up this page because I've done a whole makeover on the whole website, but I haven't really touched this page because it's fine for now. But look it, I have a spot that's literally tools. And then I talk about, these are tools that I recommend. Yes, some of them are affiliate links, but they're because I actually love them. I will recommend all of these, but I'm going to use SiteGround for, for this example. I will recommend SiteGround until the cows come home for web hosting. Why? Because they are the best. They're not, it doesn't matter what they pay. They are the best and they're easy to work with, right? Um, 
themes. Divi, that's the theme I use. That's the only one I recommend because it's easy to use for anybody from techie to non-techie. Um, Dubsado, amazing. G Suites, oh my gosh, like everything. All of these are my favorite. I will tell you right now, some of these like this are not an affiliate link, but they're just that good that I'm going to recommend them. Um, Ecamm is what we're using right now. Uh, actually, what's funny is they put me on their testimonial page the other day, and I didn't know, um, and a friend, um, Jerisha, had uh, tagged me on Facebook saying, you know you made it when you're on somebody's testimonial page. So it was really cool. Um, yeah, Vicky just switched to Divi. Nice. Um, working with Divi to build my new site. Yes, using Dubsado. See, you guys got it. You guys got it. Um, so when you're thinking about these ads, and we haven't even got, you guys, can you believe we haven't even gotten into today's content? Like, this is all like just the pre-work. Um, see, that's why you guys show up. That's why you guys got to share and tag a friend because they just are missing so much free here. Um, free, good quality, right? So um, when it comes to these ads, you just have to realize that you cannot sacrifice your user experience to get a few dollars from these ads. It's not worth it you are are shooting yourself in the foot. Like you have to make sure that you constantly be mindful of the user experience. Ask yourself, if I was the customer coming here, do I want to see this? Pay attention to your web browsing. When you go to sites like this, when you go to Macy's, when you go to whatever, your local food store online, like whatever it is, take a look. What do you not like? Make note of it because you're going to need it for later. So keep that in mind. Hope that helps. Uh, but that that's like something I'm really, really passionate about is like really the user experience. And you know what? I actually had a fantastic call. I don't know if some of you guys might have seen in the comments yesterday or the day before when we had Midori on. Um, she had tagged a friend, Rob. And if he sees this, shout outs to Rob. Um, we had a fantastic conversation. Never met before. Midori um, connected us and we had a fantastic phone call that was about supposed to be 20 minutes. It lasted for, I think, a little over an hour. It was just fantastic. And, and the connections that are coming and um, we'll have them on the show, like just amazing. And that's what happens. You know, that's why you come here. That's why you learn. That's why you show up, you deliver and you engage, right? The magic happens in the comments. You have to do it. Um, so there is that information. Woo. Okay. So first off, I gotta tell you, I want you guys to enjoy these these cookies, okay? I want you to enjoy these cookies. Don't worry about this stone, it's all, you know, it's it's not looking good, but it's because it's been years and years of use. These are the best, by the way. I'm not an affiliate for them. I don't even know where you get them besides probably searching on Amazon. They're the best. Anyway, you can have my cookies because they smell so good, but what I'm doing right now even though I'm going to eat these later, I'm sure, because you guys aren't, you guys I know aren't going to eat them all for me. Um, it's like, those are my weakness, chocolate chip cookies. And to be fair, are you guys ready for this? You guys are going to be like, oh man, L let me ask, let me ask before I even say it. Maybe you saw, maybe you know, because you're a cookie investigator, you know exactly what brand that is. Can you guess? Can you guess that brand? Let me know in the comments because I got to drink water because it's like a Jess, Jess. Oh my gosh, Jess. Let me know if you guys can guess in the comments what what type, uh, what brand I'm, I eat the cookies for. What brand my cookies are. <laughs> um, Erica, great question. How come I didn't bring enough for the whole class? I have a package and a half in the fridge and freezer. So... We can bust those out at any time. We don't even need to cook them. The freezer ones, we're going to have to let thaw just a little bit. Um, but fun facts, you can put them in the freezer and just save them for later because you just never know when your sweet tooth is going to hit, right? I don't care. It's just cookie. Exactly. Vicky's like, give me them cookies. I'll take them off your hands right now. I don't even care. You guys, Pillsbury dough cookies. Chocolate chip. No competition out there. Sorry, Nestle, Toll House, Betty Crocker. Like, you ain't got nothing on the Doughboy. Like, that is what I grew up on, and that is the cookie. And it's so good. Um, the, the dough is, like, so good. But we're not here to talk about cookies. What do you guys... You guys are going to make me want to eat these cookies on the live. I can't. Uh, no. 
So um, you're probably asking yourself, like, why are we talking about cookies? I thought we were talking about, you know, how we have to invest in an expert. And you're not really sounding like an expert right now because you're talking about cookies. And I don't think that's your jam. Um, so it's not. Um, unless we consider, uh, again, if you're a cookie investigator, if you consider that the cookie could be my jam if it's because I eat them, then yes, that's my jam. I got this. Like, done. Done deal. Uh, but otherwise, no, it's not. Um, and and I, I don't bake them from scratch. Sorry. Yeah, just doesn't work. Um, so the reason I bring all of that up is because we talk a lot about and I say we, meaning you, me, other entrepreneurs, other small business owners, uh, nonprofits. So let me back up for a second. I don't know if you guys know this, but basically the people that I work with the most, obviously you guys, duh, um, small businesses, uh, entrepreneurs, and nonprofits. Those are basically the three uh, categories, if you will, of who I mainly work with. Uh, it, it's been a blessing. It's awesome. Uh, I've attracted a lot of nonprofit work, which is great. Nonprofits are amazing to work with, and um, it, and it's just it's a beautiful thing. So when we talk, we all three of those categories, which all of you fit into there. Um, when we talk, Vicky said, or Mickey says, Vicky, you called it. Yep. Um, so when we talk about business, we're always talking about you know starting your business, running your business, investing in your business. And how when you make money, you need to invest it back into your business, which is true. You you do. I mean, obviously, you have to grow, right? It, it's like planting a seed. You plant the seed. You got to water it. You got to make sure that you prune it, depending on what the thing is. Um, obviously, you can tell I, I'm an expert in planting because I said the thing. Um, but, you know, you water it and, and watch it grow and hope that it has enough sunlight and whatever. And that birds aren't getting to it and all that stuff. Same thing with a business. And we talk about investing in your business a lot. Uh, you'll hear that from experts and, and in your books and things like that. But what we have to remember is that we have to also invest in us. Like, how many of you, be honest, have... How do I frame this question? How do I reframe this question? Oh, um, no. Um, how do I frame this question? So basically, I want to know... Out of the books that you've read, the people you've heard from, the um, the podcasts you've listened to, how many of you really talk about investing in yourself? Not just your business, but yourself. Um, I, I don't know how to ask that question, so I'm just going to put that out there, and you can answer or ask yourself that or whatever. Like, it's out there. It's done. Like, I'm not taking it back. You got it. Um, but it's like we're playing handball or something. Uh, but... When it comes to your business, you have to not only invest in your business, but you have to invest in yourself. You, right there. Yeah, you. You have to invest in yourself. Because if you don't, everything else crumbles. Everything else will crumble. Because you're the one who has the idea. You're the one who has built it. You probably had help. I sure hope you did, because we can't do it by ourselves. But at the end of the day, it's you. You are the seed. And so if you crumble, so does everything else. That's why we talk a lot about self-care. That's why it's important to make the time. Not, I don't have time. No, make the time. You know, one of our viewers, Chrissy, um, she made time right before her big presentation. Um, I forget what what the um, the event was, but it was really, really big. And she was very stressed and had a lot of work to do. And it was during that time, for some of you might remember, we were talking about embracing the silence. And she already told us, like, no, I can't do that. No, I don't have time for that. And then what happened? She made time for it. And it was the best thing. And she was so happy that she did. So it was awesome. Um Put your oxygen and masks on first. Exactly. Yeah, it's that same type of thing. You have to take care of yourself first. So, so, again, even if you're not a business person, which most of you probably are, but if you're not, um, this still ties into your personal life because even if you're working a nine to five, you still need to do this. You have to invest in yourself because how are you going to be able to do anything next? Like, how are you going to get to your next level? You know, as Arlene would say, What's your next move? 
um, that that's a uh, guest. Uh, Arlene was a guest on our show and actually had me on her p- new podcast, which is awesome. So you have that, right? So I've invested in my, well, let me start from uh, somewhat the beginning. So when I left my nine to five job back at Apple, I invested in myself to go ahead and start my own business again. I invest, so it, technically I invested in my business. I mean, you know, it still went through me and then my business, but we did that and now it has grown and it continues to grow, which is awesome. I mean, you guys, you, I got to thank all of you for, even if you just show up here on this broadcast and if you watch this and then later you comment and then you share and then you, you connect with me elsewhere, like that right there, it, it it's those little, little seeds that make a huge difference. Um, and so from there, I have now gotten into a good groove with my business and it, it's really nice. And so now I'm at a point where I need to invest in myself, like literally myself. Now you guys, some of you know this, that I go to the gym quite frequently throughout the week. Um, I, I don't eat a whole t- a ton of junk food. I mean, I don't eat fast food. I don't drink soda. I kind of keep it pretty simple, but, but who doesn't like a cookie? Um, so, you know, I know that I've been working out since I was like 15, you guys. So I know that in order to get the results that I think I want, which I'll explain a little bit more about that in a second, you know, I've done okay and I've maintained But I'm like, you know, there's a time recently where I was like, well, you know what? Maybe I'm just never going to get to that point that I think that I want to get to because maybe my body just doesn't shape that way. You know, maybe, maybe it's not going to get cut, you know, maybe I'm not going to be very ripped. Um, and I just have to be okay with that. Like I'm grateful for what I have right now. And if we can just fine tune a little bit more, it'd be awesome. Um, but that, that's kind of stuff that, you know, that I work with, with my health, uh, and fitness. And I feel like if you maintain and Hey Jane, um, and I feel like if you, um, you know, keep up with your health and you stay active, no matter what age, no matter what job you have, you have to stay active. Even if it's just walking around the block to clear your head, like so many things happen. I know some of you guys, even if you don't comment, you're watching, uh, even the replay viewers, I know a lot of you guys are health conscious. I know a lot of you are in that space that you provide, you know, yoga services, uh, nutrition, fitness, whatever. So I know I'm talking to the right people and, and those around us that will be sharing, uh, they'll be bringing, uh, coming and gravitating to this. So I decided that it's time for me to invest in myself, in my health, and take it to the next level. Now, here's the thing, you guys. This is where the expert part comes in. I can do my own workouts. No problem. I've been doing them for years. I can go find my own workouts. Been doing that for years. I can get on a program by myself and feel like I'm doing work, and I kind of get results, and I'm okay with that up until recently. And then you have to realize that you have to just bite the bullet and do it. What do I mean by do it? I want you to say it because you have to say it. Even if you just say it out loud, you have to say it because then it makes it more real. But you have to then invest in the expert. Again, I know how to work out for the most part. I mean, there's always room for opportunity, but I, you know, I know how to work out. Um, I can see a guide. I'm very resourceful, but I also know that the nutrition part of it, even though I don't eat a ton of junk food, well, fast food and sodas and stuff, I'm still not eating the right food with the right proportions. And all that is like, that's like talking Greek to me, right? Like calories, but like how many calories, how many proteins, all that stuff. Like I'm learning all about that stuff. You guys, like it's awesome. It's really, really cool. Um, yes, Paula, get help. Exactly. Get more, uh, get a mentor, get a trainer. Exactly. Yes. You guys, that's what you need to do. I know, I know the first thing that you're thinking about is the cost. I get it. Like that's fine. And, And no, I'm not talking about like hiring me. Like this is not a promo. This is for all of us to learn. The cost is always going to be a factor. It's 
always going to be unavailable for the most part. Let's, let's be real. We're always going to have that excuse. I can't afford it. Well, if it's something like your health, it's something like your business, you're going to find a way to make it work. And so, and I'm going to walk you through what happened with me. Um, yeah, exactly. Right. Mickey, that's a whole science, the food combination part. You guys, how many of you work out on a regular basis? Um, but how many of you are really like in tuned, not only with the workout part, but the fit, um, sorry, the nutrition part, because it, it goes hand in hand, which we kind of know that. But when we're actually trying to like do it, we, we don't, we're like, well, I worked out today. I can go have a burger. You guys, I'll be sitting, well, I say sitting sometimes, uh, but I'll be in uh, my friend's boot camp literally towards the end when we're doing stretches and stuff. And I will be like, oh, man, I can't wait to have a burger and a fries and a shake. We're still working out. And I'm thinking about the burger, fries and shake, you know? So it's like, it, it's just those types of things where we, we're like, well, I've worked out so I, I can go ahead and eat this. I can go ahead and drink this. I can do whatever. So it's that combination of working things together. And, um, and for, let's see, Mickey says, it's not about the cost. It's about the return on investment. Yes, that's exactly where we're going with this, Mickey. I love that you put, uh, brought that up. Um, so yeah, no gym, but Zumba. There you go. There, there you go. Pound fit and, uh, slimming, uh, class, uh, swimming class. Yes. You guys find what works for you. For me, I got to go to the gym. And you know what's funny? I, I've told you guys this before, I think. Um, but here's the, here's the funny thing. My mom, get this. My mom just said the exact same thing yesterday when I met with her and she doesn't like the gym. Okay. You guys, you got to understand my mom used to hate the gym. I tell her all the time, you got to get to the gym. You're not going to get rid of that. If you don't go to the gym, you got to stay healthy. You're getting a little bit more wiser. I need you to go to the gym so that you can stay active. I need you around, you know, like coaching her with like, get your butt to the gym. And so, um, and don't worry, she's not, well, she'll only watch this if I send it to her because she's not on Facebook. But, um, anyway, the other morning, it was like music to my ears because she's been going to the gym. She's retired now. And so she's been going to the gym, which thank goodness she's done that. I'm like, thank you. And she goes quite frequently, which makes me feel so good. And so she was just saying the other day, you know, that she has to go to the gym in order to well, actually, let me back up. See, I got so excited. I was just going to say it. So she used to work out at home slightly, not really. She had a treadmill, but what happens to the treadmill at home? You guys know what happens to the treadmill at home. It becomes a clothing rack or it gets folded up and put in the corner. It just happens. So she has been going to the gym, Planet Fitness. It's great, affordable. It's in our area. It's awesome. She goes to the gym. And so the other day she's like, we had this conversation and she's all, yeah, I have to go to the gym and I love going to the gym because you see all different shapes and sizes and ages. You know, there's a gentleman in a wheelchair who's coming to work out. There's a lady that's super fit. There's a lady that, you know, can, can use a little bit extra, just like me, like all of that stuff. And it motivates her. You guys, it motivates me. That's why I love going to the gym because I can be around people. Number one, because how many of us don't leave the house, don't leave the office, we're stuck behind the screens. So it gets us out of the house. We're like, oh, snap. It's sunny outside. Look at that. Oh, I got wind blowing across me. I'm walking to the gym. I'm driving to the gym. I got some wind. I got the tunes up. Like, who knew life was good, right? So that's, that's part of the whole process. And then you get to the gym. And then you see people. And you're like, oh, well, I was going to be lazy today. And I was only going to do 15 minutes on that elliptical. But look at Look at Charlie over there. He's been on there for a half hour and he's sweating bullets. Like, I gotta, I gotta go on there. Or, you know, you start lifting weights and you're like, dang, that guy just benched, you know, a hundred pounds. I, I gotta try that. Can you spot me? And you just go. Like, whatever works for you, I'm just using those as examples. Treadmills at home is a very uh, large paperweight. Right, Mickey? I know. I know where, what happens to those treadmills. Trust me, it would happen at my house if I allowed myself to buy one. Um, although, I kind of take that back because I like my stand-up stand desk and I actually do work when I'm at the gym on the treadmills or the uh, elliptical. So if I had one of those, I actually would be still working 
while working out. I know it's crazy, but I am that guy who's literally headphones in, working like this while on the treadmill or the elliptical. Hey, you gotta make use of your time. Uh, so anyway, so she's investing in her health. She's investing in her progress to get out, to do stuff. Excuse me, that's what I'm doing now. So I made the decision earlier this week, so let me back up to kind of give you that 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 flow, those steps, because I know you're thinking about it too. We have to invest in an expert at some point. It doesn't matter how resourceful we are, myself included. It doesn't matter um, all the tools and resources we have. We still need to invest in somebody. Call them a mentor, call them a coach, call them a trainer, um, call, educator, like expert, I don't care. To, to be honest, I actually don't really care about titles. You know, I call myself a business development and tech expert. I mean, yeah, that's what I do, but it's, I don't know. It's just weird to have a title. I don't know, because maybe just because that's a creative, a creative guy in me. I don't know. It's just weird. But anyway, um, call it whatever you want, you know, because I always see, like, there are definitions for a coach, trainer, a mentor, and maybe I'm just like, I don't know, it's weird to me because I'm like, okay, but I can see myself doing all three of those things. So what do I call myself? And I'm being cocky, you know, like how many of you guys can think of that too? You're like, well, wait, I am coaching, but I'm also kind of technically mentoring, but then I'm also kind of training. So, you know, it is what it is, like whatever. Um, but I psyched myself up. I was telling myself, Ed, it feels like this is the year. And, and this is this has been the year. You know, I told you guys, for those who have been following me, even before uh, 2018 started, I said the word for the year is going to be growth. It's a weird prediction thing that happens right before the new year. I don't know. I just go with it. Um, and it has. It's been a hu huge, especially in my area, because we had the Northern, uh, wild, Northern California wildfires. So right now is all rebuilding and growth. Um, with a lot of our businesses, myself included, we're all seeing growth, small or big, it's still growth. Um, and so from that, it's now at a point where I'm like, okay, you know, I made some, I paid down some cards. I got the business up and running into a spot where I feel comfortable. I said, you know what? I need to invest in myself. What's that look like? Well, I know how to work out. I feel like if I pay for somebody to teach me how to work out, it's like, well, why don't I just do it myself? But I reminded myself, no, because I need the expert to help jumpstart me because I know what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing, what I'm doing is not enough. It's not, I, I, I'm here. I want to be here. Um, which actually I'm going to pull up some quotes because my trainer is awesome. She's like, I'm going to tell you why I picked her too, um, because of it, there's a reason. Um, so let me pull up some quotes from this afternoon, uh, cause I had a workout earlier, which hence why I have so much water. Um, so we went with that and we decided, and Mindy says it was hard to label all of that on my taxes. <laughs> yeah. Right, Mindy. It's like, and you know, you guys, going back to the comment about, you know, what a mentor is, what a coach is, what a trainer is, what an expert is, like, listen, there are some people, and it may be you, that's fine, that are hardcore, like, no, this is a definition of X, Y, Z, and you only fit in those categories. Cool. Like, maybe that's true. I just cannot comprehend that um, yet. I am, uh, I, to me, it can be one of the same to be honest. Um, so let me see what she said. Okay. So are you ready, Mickey? Mickey, are you ready? I know Mickey's our, our hashtag Ed Talk TV quoter here. So that's why I'm shouting her out. Um, so uh, I'm getting, I'm getting there. Just be ready. Uh, so I decided to tell myself, okay, Ed, it's time to ask. You realize that it's time to ask. That's what I told myself before going into the gym. And you guys, I go to the gym almost five days a week. I went in with that in mind. Ed, you're going to ask because here's what happens. What happens when we, when we finally ask somebody something? What happens? 
we get an answer. And we know that in situations like this, that answer is exactly what we needed to hear, but we're still kind of on the fence. We're like, oh, and so that's why we don't ask. We don't ask because we know what the answer is going to be. And we know that that answer is going to cost us money. And we know that we're going to have to figure out how to pay for that. Even though we know that once we do it, we're going to be in a different situation. We're going to be in a better situation, but we still hold back. And that's why we don't ask, right? We talk about that. Ask and listen. So I had to psych myself up, tell myself, Ed, you're going to ask today. I go to the gym. I look around like, okay, there's my trainer. She's a friend, but there's my trainer who's now my trainer. And, And I was like, okay. So I do most of this stuff on my own. You know I'm here all the time. I'm trying to figure it out. I just want, I want to go to the next level because I feel like I just can't get, I just can't get there. Like if I'm stuck with, you know, this, this shape, that's fine. I mean, it's not bad, but I want to get to, I want to see if I can get to that, to that next level. And and I'm not happy with, you know, just kind of just being down here anymore. I, I want to, I want to, challenge myself a little bit because I know I can. It's just when you're by yourself, you don't want to challenge. You're, you're like, I gave, I went five extra minutes on that Stairmaster. I'm using cardio. I don't use cardio a whole lot, by the way. I just use that for the example because I know most people like cardio. So, you know, which by the way, I will say the Stairmaster with five minutes, that is a beast. That sucker is a beast. I made the mistake. Uh, I mean, it was a good one. But I made the mistake of um, being on that for 25 minutes one day. Usually I only go, if I do it, I'm only at 10 minutes. Um, I made the mistake of doing 25 minutes because I was trying to finish up an email. Because, again, I work when I'm on the elliptical or the Stairmaster or whatever. Yeah, that was a good workout. That I was feeling that the next couple of days. Um, so, anyway, uh, where were we? We were talking about, like, so you have to ask. So I went in. I found my trainer. I said, listen, this is this is what I do, blah, blah, blah. Like, I just know that most likely it's my nutrition mixed with some good workouts. So what happened? She gave me the answer. Well, let's, let's do this. Like, and here's the cool thing. And I'll I'll try to uh, sum it up as much as I can. The cool thing was she's like, well, here's the thing. Let's look at your account. Okay, cool. There's a special still running for X amount of sessions. It ends on Thursday. Why don't you come back tomorrow? Think about this, you know, cause I, I was like, my car has the check engine light, you know, my car thankfully is still running, but it's squeaky doors, power window, or thankfully still power windows, but the locks and all that stuff. Right. So I'm like, the check engine light came on. I don't really know what that's going to happen. What's going to do, uh, about that, what I'm going to do about that, blah, blah, blah. So then she's like, no problem. Think about it. Come back tomorrow. Let's, let's meet. I'm going to put you in my calendar so we can just connect and see what's going on and then take it from there. Ooh, I got a little break. I was like, okay, okay, cool. Like now I know the numbers. Now I can evaluate like where I'm at. I thought about only buying the five sessions and I was like, it's not going to do anything. Like she's right. The five sessions, cause she told me, you know, I might as well go for the 10 which it's not the upsell. I mean, of course there's an upsell, but it's, it's realistically, it's the f- five, you're not going to do much. And you know, you're going to want more. After day one, I was like, I'm ready. Like, let's do this. Like, this is, this is what I have no regrets. Let me just put that out there. No regrets. Once I handed that credit card over, boom. And that's rare. Cause usually I will be like, here you go. Because it's not something I wanted to spend my money on. Right. For the most part. But this was, and I was like, done, like I'll pay it off when I can, if I have to, like whatever, you know, like I'm putting that out there cause I want you to understand, like depending on what it is, especially when it comes to your health, like that's when you use the credit card smartly, pay attention to your finances. I'm not your financial advisor, but just pay attention to them. So went back the next day, met, loaded up, here's my card, done deal. How about we book some sessions? Cause she's, she's popular. Like you guys, like getting in her calendar is very hard. And so I was like, well, I have the time right now. Let's book some times. We'll get it on the calendar. We'll start right away. So we started yesterday, believe it or not. Um, this all happened on Monday, Tuesday was yesterday was the first day. And then today. Yeah. So this is all brand new. Um, and so 
Yesterday we did chest and a little bit of tries. Today we finished the tries. Um, and I can't tell you guys, even after day one, I mean, I was sweating, sweating bullets, sweating bullets. I, I am so sore. I haven't felt this sore in a long time and I'm loving it. Now I know some of you are probably like, Ed, that's, that's weird. Like what? Um, I, I, I can actually feel that I have a tricep, you guys. I mean, that's huge. And so it sounds weird and it's, it's really, you know, she was telling me, speaking of sounding weird, she was telling me, I'm going to get up like this to hug, let's see, hug your elbows in, hug yourself. She's like, hug yourself, because I'm out here. And she's like, no, hug yourself. I'm like, listen, I don't hug myself. So I don't know what that means. Like, and I'm thinking, maybe I need to hug myself more. Like, I mean, this this kind of is sore. I know I'm a wimp right now, but you know, I'm just being real with you guys. Um, uh, because that's what we do. Tammy, how do you know how much to spend? I got hit up for a three-month virtual trainer. Woo! Snap! Uh, Tammy, I will if that if that didn't tell you, um, that seems like a lot. Now, you guys, Tammy just asked a great question and you saw my reaction, but also, do you guys realize I don't have a whole lot of info either? I just see three months, 1500. I don't know what that three months looks like. I don't know if you're training every day, if you have, you know, three times a week, but then you have like this intense coach call or, you know, this nutrition part or whatever. Um, right, Tammy? There you go. Um, so obviously I don't know all the details, but when you just pop in those couple things, I'm like, yeah, that's a lot. Um, I can tell, you know, I don't care. I'll tell you guys. I, I spent, uh, uh, with tax, it was a little under $600 for 10 sessions. That's about 10 hours. Um, and it, $600 is a lot, right? I, I mean, it's not like you're just whipping out your hundreds and being like, oh, pfft. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. No, you have to think about that. At least I do. I mean, I think about money all the time and being cautious with it. And so uh, for me, I was like, all right, it's worth it. You know, like this is this is the time to do it. I don't want to wait till the next time because I am blessed right now with a flexible schedule. If all of this changed right now, I would put that on hold and then I wouldn't be where I want to be. And I need to do it now because I'm not getting any younger, right? So that, and I'm really big on health and fitness. So keep that in mind for whatever you're doing. Um, so we were talking about price. So yeah, so you're, you're looking at price. Um, and that was a special, by the way. So uh, remember that I got on a deal that just ended today. So it technically is higher for others, but I was in on a, on a special. So, you know, again, it depends on, that 1500 Tammy, it really depends on what what's behind all of that. Um, and and if that's the deal, well, I mean, it really depends on what it is. But if that's full price, uh, it, it still depends. Um, it is, but I'm just getting uh, started. It seems like too much. It is nutrition plan, workout plan, support. Yeah. So again, you know, it really depends on you guys and what you're looking for and what you need. And sometimes... You guys, sometimes you don't know what you don't know, right? Listen, we're going to go a little bit over if that's okay. Uh, I know we still have time, but I want to just put that out there. We'll probably go a little over because I want to give you these quotes because uh, I know I know Mickey is sitting there like, Ed, can I write these down yet? Um, and I want to go over why I chose this trainer. But um, Tammy brings up a good point uh, about, you, you know, there's all these things, right? Let's, let's talk about courses for a second. Can we talk about courses? Because this all relates. How many bonuses that you get in this course and that course? And um, and this module slash lesson is four hours long. How awesome is that? I really showed up and delivered and engaged with you. But if you want the engagement, that's bonus number four. I, I kind of went off the rail there for a second. But you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want all of that. Yes, it sounds nice. But that's not realistic, which is why, shout out to stupideasy.com, I created stupideasy.com because nobody has time for that. That's why when you go to build your courses over at stupideasy.com, they're short and sweet and to the point, not only for your sake, but for your students' sake, because they don't have time. They need those quick wins. We're the same. We need our quick wins in personal and in business. 
um, when uh, we were talking about, oh, so the reason why I created Hey Ed, right, is because I realized that there are a lot of you and your friends and family and all of that uh, who maybe need a one-on-one -on -one session with me, right? You're like, yeah, I, I do, but you're kind of expensive. No offense, Ed, you're kind of expensive. I know you're worth it, but I'm not ready. I don't know what to talk about. I don't know this, that, whatever. I get it. That's fine. We're all like that, myself included. So I finally realized the missing piece was this Hey Ed membership. Not to be another membership community that's online, but to be the resource that I am and to be able to help people on the go who just have that quick question that really just comes up, you know? And so that's the, there's way more be, uh, behind that, but that that's like the big thing, right? Um, Jane, I'm just going to see what Jane says. Um, I qualify as qualified as a personal trainer years ago, a uh, little different business now. I know how to train to get results, but prefer to be coached by someone else because it's nice to be motivated by someone else other than myself. Boom! Jane, that is leading into what we're going to talk about. I love it. So when it comes to um, your investing in yourself, even if you're the expert, you still have to invest in another expert to help you. So when I signed up with my trainer here, she told me with confidence that even the trainers there themselves are paying each other to train each other. Why? Because you can't just be the only one at the top. You have to bring people up with you and you have to keep going over and over with each other. Because you can't just be the expert and be like, okay, I'm peace, I made it. Like, we're good. No, because what happens? For talking fitness, what happens? Everything goes down. Nothing's coming up. It's just the way it is. Um, let me see. Respectful connections. One of my concerns with paying for a coach slash training program is that I won't have the time to take advantage of it. Exactly. Exactly. And that's where it goes back to Tammy's thing, right? Like you get all these bonuses. I'm going to say bonuses, but you know, you get the training, you get the nutrition, you get the support. But realistically, what do you have? Um, you know, you guys, I, I've struggled with that with, with what I provide on the sales page, which I just redid. So if anybody has feedback, please let me know uh, for the Hey Ed. But for me, it's like, I don't want to just be like, do this, do that, this, this. No, like I've made it. Okay, so here, here's a cool thing. I know this is kind of promo-y, but it ties in, I swear. So what I've done is I've done some research, and in the group I'll talk to you guys more about this, but what I've done is I've made it your new digital library. And yes, there are libraries, if you didn't know this, because I did my research, there are libraries that are paid memberships. How cool is that? Because I was thinking, well, wait, the libraries I go to are free, so this might be a little confusing for the customer. And then I realized, let me do some research. And I was like, no, I'm on point. There are paid memberships uh, for libraries. I was like, sweet, we're good. And why did I make it a library? Because people come to me as if I was Google, the search engine, if I was their Siri, if I was the master librarian. Like, people come to me for the questions that they have. They come to me for resources and be pointed in the right direction. That's why I know that the one-on-one -on -one sessions aren't for everybody because it can be too much. It can be that extra bonus, right? That that you're like, wait, I didn't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if all of this, like, let me save my questions to get up to that point. Like, no, stop holding back and do what you need to do to get in the right place. So there's that kind of thing. And, and hopefully that helps uh, a little bit with that question. But, you know, um, you definitely yeah need uh, quality versus quantity, which is also, you know, the thing of having, um, <laughs> oh, Tammy, you're good. What did we talk about yesterday, Erica? I think it was with you. Um, I think it was on the show. We talked about education. Well, guess what? Now we have Googled. I can't really say it. Google Ed, I, I can't say it. You guys try saying that. You tell me. You can send me a voice clip. Okay, cool. So let's keep going. Um, so what I did with the quotes, here's the quote for you just to have it out there. My trainer said, quote, failure is not, 
Oh, wait. Back it up. I messed it up. Sorry, Mickey. Quote, failure is your friend. Now, you all know I don't like the F word, um, failure. But um, this one, I was like, dang. Pause my workout. Let me put this in real quick. Um, quote, failure is your friend. Why? Can you guess why? Even if you're watching the replay? Because, leads into our next quote. Quote, in order to see gains, you have to reach failure. Boom. Mic drop. Right? In order to see gains, you have to reach failure. Now, that is related to working out. But how many of you can raise your hand and say, oh, I can totally relate that to my business. Right? Those pivots. We have to pivot. We have to be able to experience those, I call them opportunities, but in this example, we'll say failure. We'll say the F word, okay? Um, failure. You have to be able to experience those failures in order to get those gains. Because if you didn't, you're not going to be able to get to that next level. You're not going to be able to see what you're capable of. You guys, I couldn't even push myself up off the ground yesterday at the end of my workout. I don't even know if we did a full hour. I We did so much, just just basic core work and chest. Oh yeah, we did core. That I forgot about that. Chest and core yesterday, that at the end, I reached failure because I couldn't even put my hands on the ground and push up. I got some air out, but I couldn't push up. So you have to understand that that is, that is the big one right there, um, right? Mickey, these are awesome. I'm going to put these up. And I, like I said, I can't take credit for these exact quotes. Um, shout outs to uh, Diane for having them. Uh, I don't know if she'll ever watch this, but that's okay. Um, these, are, these are big ones. Um, so understand that this is what we're talking about. Um, now, real quick before I let you guys go, why did I choose my trainer? I chose my trainer not only because I know them, but I know that they're good. I've watched them. I've met their other clients, testimonials. Um, I've met their clients in person. I've heard the stories. She's had enormous success with her clients. I've met some of the clients. Like, I'm like, dang, you're over 70 and you're still up in here looking like you're 20. Like, good for you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, all that kind of stuff. So that's that's part of why I, I went with her. Um, I know she's the best. I, I'm looking at my notes real quick. Um, I know that she knows about the food slash the diet part. Uh, she has um, people in the family that she is training um, that I can relate to. Um what else? Uh, I know I needed help and I needed that push and I realized that I just had to do it. Uh, why am I? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll talk about that stuff in, in the group. Sorry. Sorry. Um, but anyway, so that's why I chose her is because I knew she was good. I knew she was not just about the, the workouts, but she was going to help me with the nutrition, which is what I know I have the opportunity in. And, and you can see by those two quotes that she had just today during my workout, I was like, yes best decision. And you guys, we're only on day two. And I'm kind of like, dang, what happens when I run out of these sessions? I'm like, I got to go deposit some more because I can't get enough. So you have to think about that stuff. Anyway, um, we're not going too far over. How cool is that? So I hope that helps. Uh, and I hope that you, you, if you have a friend or somebody, tag them in the comments, even if you're watching the replay, if you don't want to share this out, that's fine. But, but let them understand that even a small piece of this section, like if, you, if you're like, oh, at, you know, 10 minutes in or 25 minutes in, go watch Ed talk about XYZ. Like help them out because people need to hear this and, and know that they can make that investment in themselves because the return on investment, thank you for reminding me, the return on that investment is going to be tenfold. I think that's the right way to use that phrase. Um, and you're going to see that return on investment, both in your personal life and your professional life. And your business needs you. Your customers need you. And your future customers need you. I need you. So make sure that you take the time to invest in yourself, okay? 
I hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing right now. And tomorrow, it's going to be a hit or miss because I got some things that I'm doing in the morning slash mid-afternoon. So uh, we'll see what kind of show we have tomorrow. It might be a real quick one. We'll see where I'm at come 4 o'clock. So have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys later. Take care.